This is what the Pakistan-Afghanistan border looks like from the air. It's mostly mountainous and difficult to control. Once a sanctuary for the Pakistani Taliban, it is now a heavily militarized zone. These soldiers look out for infiltrators who frequently take advantage of the terrain to cross into Pakistan. But now Pakistan is planning to build a fence, which will run the entire length of the border. It has already completed work on fencing the main border crossing at Torkham in the Khyber Pass. But Pakistan uh, you know, has continued to emphasize the need for effective border management. And you know that uh, this is important to combat terrorism, to combat uh, the uh, cross-border cross terrorism which is uh, taking place because of the movement of terrorists from across the border. Afghanistan blames Pakistan for allowing the Afghan Taliban to launch attacks from Pakistani soil. While Pakistan complains, the Afghan government is not doing enough against the Pakistani Taliban, who have regrouped on the Afghan side. Despite objections of the Afghan government, Pakistan is determined to build a fence that will stretch almost 2,500 kilometers along the Afghan frontier. A recent spate of attacks across Pakistan and on border positions Pakistan says it is a necessary step to stop infiltrators. While both sides have signaled a willingness to address the issue, serious differences remain. We have clearly stated that without the agreement of the government of Afghanistan, any unilateral action taken by the Pakistani side along the Duran line uh, is going to be ineffective, impractical and impossible. Last year, Pakistan completed work on an 1,100-kilometer barrier, three meters deep and four meters wide, to prevent smugglers, terrorists and drug traffickers entering Pakistan's Baluchistan province. Now it plans to seal off the entire border, despite objections from the Afghans. While many people in Pakistan agree with the government's attempts to seal off the border, not everyone agrees with the project. This will be unfair to seal the border in 21st century when we talk of globalization and we talk of removal of barriers and removal of tariffs. I think we should invest in the people. We should invest in peace to bring electricity, to bring, to deliver quality education, to deliver health care, roads, children's parks, I, um, IT parks, to, to bring about socio-economic emancipation of the people on both sides of the border. I think that is one sure way of defeating extremism and militancy. Pakistan says the fence will not just prevent the Pakistani Taliban crossing the border to carry out attacks inside Pakistan, but will also prevent fighters crossing into Afghanistan. Kamal Haider Al Jazeera at the Pak Afghan border in Khyber Agency.